This is How to Draw. I'm Levi Smith. Today we're drawing Bluey in a vampire costume. This one's been done before, but mine's a little different. As always, I'm using a basic ballpoint pen, but you can use a pencil and any kind of paper that you have. Even with a pencil, remember to draw light at first. We'll get darker as we go. So let's get this going with some basic shapes. I draw this really light circle to plot out how big I want to draw Bluey, that way I don't run out of space. We start with a bean shaped rectangle. I put a little bend towards the middle here, and you can see how I really sketch out the shape, I don't just try to draw it out right. Add a light center line, not down the middle, but off to one side. Draw just two sides of a rectangle here, keeping that corner rounded. This is Bluey's snout. Then, add this bottom line of the rectangle and end it with a little upward hook to finish this part of the snout. Right at the top open end of the snout, add an oval here for the first eye. On the other side of the center line, draw another oval that cuts behind the snout rectangle a bit. We'll add these triangles to the top of the head for ears. I put the second triangle behind the headline. These overlaps create depth in your drawing. Add this little line under the snout to make the rest of the mouth. From here, I'll add this square shape under the mouth, angling the bottom part of it downward. I don't want to forget these oval-shaped eyebrows. They're a distinct element for Bluey. And we'll jump right to this vampire cape with this curved line coming from the top of the square. The line on the other side needs to be a lot shorter, just past the body. This next set of lines come from the square out, angled away from the top lines. The original circle I drew helps out here a lot as I draw this set of arc lines behind Bluey's head. Make sure to give that snout some room with this arc line. These arc lines from the square look like bat's wings. Notice these lines on either side of the body are not the same. Imagine that his left side, our right, is further away from us when drawing these. Let's draw some lines here for the legs, keeping these lines mostly parallel, but do make the bottom wider than where they connect to the body, giving us extra space for this foot. And his left leg is a bit shorter to reinforce our depth effect. Under this cape, we'll draw these U-shapes to build some simple hands. Drawing these little U-shaped circles closer together makes them look like fingers. I'll mark out this part of the belly nice and light. And we'll draw on a softened upside down triangle here for his nose. Bluey has darker patches on his face that cross his eyes. We'll mark those areas out real quick. And these inner triangles inside the ears. Couple of ovals for the pupils and the eyes. You can make him look any direction you want. Now that we have our shapes drawn out, let's add some details and reinforce elements that we want to keep. A couple of triangles for vampire teeth off the snout. I'm going to darken and reinforce some of these lines here and there. Notice how the line at the top of the head goes in front of the left ear. As I thicken the lines of the snout, I'll add in the smile line at the edge of his mouth. That little line of Bluey's head under the snout, but above the collar, don't skip that one. Reinforce the eyes. And the eyebrows. After we darken the lines of this collar, I just give the square in the middle a bit of a lumpy shape for some detail. We'll do some reinforcement of the rest of the cape. And I realized I forgot the bottom edge of this cape, so we'll add that in now. Draw some arc lines from the bottom point, going behind the legs. I start from the outer corners and go in with a small arc in the middle. We'll thicken the lines for his belly and hand. Bluey has three toes. I indicate them with a line for the bottom foot and a couple of small curved lines for the middle toe. Now 
Same for the left foot with a couple lines to show the toes, but I don't draw the whole shape. Reinforce this left hand. I'm just going to fuss over some areas here and there. Let's add a simple oval for a shadow at his feet to put him on some ground. And let's fill in the pupils and nose black. From here, I still want to thicken certain lines for style and effect. And we'll continue making these lines darker and thicker as we get closer to shading this one. We're done with the line work, so let's get to some shading. If you want, some markers or watercolors work well here as well. I'll start by shading in the vampire collar and cape. Just a quick pass, not too dark, through the whole cape. Another layer of hatching lines makes this cross hatching. We'll add some cross hatching focused in the darker areas of the collar and cape. Notice I'm keeping away from the edges to maintain some contrasted elements in these shaded areas. And keep the darker areas in the back. Keep these darker areas in the back and behind limbs. For the underside of the cape, fill it in solid black. A bit of light shading in this square clasp of the cape. I'll add some indicators underneath elements before adding in some shading in these areas that underlap each other. We'll add some indicators on the legs before shading in the underlap with a light bit of shading on the inside of this left hand. 
down the sides of the legs and the bottom of the feet. Add a bit of shading on the snout above the mouth, but it looks like a mustache. You can leave that part out. Let's shade in the oval shadow at Bluey's feet. And add a layer of crosshatching just on the right side of the shadow at the feet. Next, let's shade in these darker patches on Bluey's head. I'll start at the tip of the ear and work my way down, keeping the shading light. A bit more reinforcement in the eyes. And I'll just fuss over a few areas here and there before adding a layer of crosshatching to the face markings. More fussing with details. We'll add another layer of hatching to the legs. And another layer of hatching in the shadow. As we get to the end here and I keep fussing with some of these details, I want to thank you for watching along and I hope this tutorial was helpful. My daughter is a big fan of Bluey and I thought it would be a cool finisher to this first season of Halloween How to Draw videos. Thanks for stopping by. Check out the description for links to art books and other merch I've got available and we'll see you back here next time. Catch you later.